spacecraft surely takes a beating after 45 years of orbiting in space. Since entering deep space, scientists have been ever alert. Voyager 1's system just detected something terrifying, and we had to find out what. The data Voyager 1 relayed back to Earth about the outer rim has shocked everyone. Let's break down the eerie signals that this spacecraft has been projecting. Where is the most distant spacecraft? Humans love flinging pointless objects into space to test their limits and increase their knowledge. Since the 1972 launch of the Pioneer 10, we now have a total of five spacecraft reaching the edges of the solar system. Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, Voyager 1, Voyager 2 and New Horizons. First launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is standing the test of time and is still going strong. This feat of technology has only made us more curious to discover the universe's secrets. These probes have lived past their expiry dates. Just last year, the Voyager missions celebrated their 45th anniversary. Humans just wanted more details about existing planets, but the Voyager has taken the mission into its own hands, or probes in this case. A lot of unique data is coming back to Earth, and it sent everyone in distress mode. While that is a remarkable success story, scientists were caught off guard when they received some troubling information. Their sole purpose after being in space for decades is to understand interstellar space. The spacecraft entered the ever-puzzling deep space in 2012. Right now, it is 14.5 billion miles from Earth. Yet while Voyager 1 continues to function normally, mission scientists recently noted that it seemed uncertain about its whereabouts in space without entering safe mode or otherwise sounding an alarm. So when weird information came back to Earth from a billion miles away, everyone was alert. So is Voyager 1 glitching? Now that the Voyager has been given free reign to enter and explore deep space, mistakes can't be afforded. Many discoveries have been made by the spaceship, but it has also encountered many abnormalities and riddles. The most recent of these is unusual telemetry data that is transmitted to Earth. In simpler words, it's sending garbled data back to Earth. Of course, if NASA's most prized possession acts wonky, they'll jump to fix it. Scientists noticed that the spacecraft's movement and orientation were completely unaligned. A machine like Voyager has an intricate system, known as the Altitude Articulation and Control System of the craft, or AACS in easier terms. It's the control system that makes sure the Voyager's antenna is directed toward Earth. The experts in charge of Voyager 1's movement came to the unexpected conclusion that the spacecraft didn't know where it was in space as a result of this unexplained development. And the real reason was, why hadn't an alarm gone off within Voyager 1 when things began going south? Experts believe that without the AACS, the spacecraft would not have been able to transmit NASA the right data. The AACS permits the spacecraft to send information about its environment, so it only makes sense that all authorities were scrambling to fix it. But let's calm down. We have a spacecraft wandering in deep, deep outer space for 45 years. What do you expect? Turns out the project manager of the Voyager missions has the same thoughts. Suzanne Dodd, who's been working at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory since 1984, said a mystery like this is kind of expected at this stage in the Voyager mission. They're outdated and doing 10 times the work expected of them, so it's a miracle they're still functional. The spacecraft are significantly older than what the mission planners had anticipated. According to Dodd, on top of that, travelling through interstellar space, a high-radiation environment that has never been visited by a spacecraft, will result in a few surprises. For now, only Voyager 1 seems to be in mild peril. The identical Voyager 2 probe, which was also launched in 1977, is operating normally, according to NASA. The project team anticipates being able to keep the twin spacecraft operating until at least 2025, by turning off specific components and limiting the amount of power they can generate. Because so much interest lies in understanding deep space, even more officials had to lay rest to malfunctioning claims. 
Associate Minister for NASA Thomas Zabuchan provided more information regarding the circumstance and what it would imply for the mission. He repeated Dodd's statements, telling the public at large that while the spacecraft was going through some challenges, they weren't impossible to deal with. The bigger problem is the amount of time it takes to get signals from Voyager. Solving the mystery behind garbled data transmissions is tricky thanks to the distance. The great separation between Earth and Voyager 1 results in significant communication delays. This means the spacecraft's issues aren't dealt with as quickly as they could have if closer. Imagine speaking to someone and just being able to say one word each day, and you only get a response once every two days. Well, that's how painfully delayed their conversations are. Although he acknowledged that the spacecraft cannot operate forever, Zabuchan is sure that the Voyager team will find the answer. But there's one problem we haven't talked about yet. On top of the current communication problem, Voyager 1 is currently operating at incredibly lower temperatures than it was intended to due to the nuclear power source's deterioration. Maybe changes in its external atmosphere will be what finally puts Voyager to rest. The Root Cause of the Problem Fixing Voyager 1 now became priority number one. Whether to switch the information to some of the backup hardware or whether the spacecraft was damaged had to be identified. Yet the Voyager spacecraft was working smoothly, at least externally. Scientists at NASA investigated the issue and got to work on the solution. Soon they found the culprit. An onboard computer had stopped working a few years prior and had been receiving telemetry data from the AACS. That meant it was transmitting data to a broken computer. The garbled computer was corrupting the data, resulting in all zeros or the number 377. They quickly came up with a solution that made sure no harm came to their beloved Voyager 1. The AACS returned to performing at its best, and data was delivered to the right computer after the scientists gave them the order to do so. But researchers have not yet determined why the AACS began to transmit telemetry data to the incorrect computer. Now cosmic rays are created outside of our solar system and move almost as quickly as light. Without our shield, these high-energy atom fragments would keep hitting Earth. We don't know how life would have developed without the heliosphere, or even if it would have developed at all. Although being a sphere, it is only round on one side. The opposite side is extended like a comet's tail. The Voyager probes have already crossed the spherical edge of the heliosphere. Next, they experience the termination shock, in which the solar wind speed is reduced to that of sound. They then entered the heliopause. The heliopause, which represents our solar system's outermost point, serves as the final barrier, separating solar system space from the interstellar medium. Now, changes in heliopause have long attracted the attention of scientists. Our current heliopause models, however, are unable to explain certain frightening changes that have recently been discovered. Astronomers used a specific instance from 2014 when the solar wind's pressure increased by 50%. What they learned was that a wave of particles had caused ripples and commotion over a distance of 900 million miles. This ripple even went back and forth between the terminal shock and heliopause. While Voyager 1 was unharmed, the heliopause itself moved forward by 460 million miles, compared to its original position in 2012. Voyager 1 continued to remain in interstellar space, but the heliosphere got close to it. Is this evidence of the universe expanding or changing? We know the Sun changes its activity every 11 years, but given its impact on the edges of the universe, it's more complex. The edges of our solar system are more wrinkly and ever-changing than we previously let on. NASA's interstellar mapping and acceleration probe will add to our understanding of this topic. It's anticipated to debut in 2025. But more unpredicted changes are occurring. Our understanding of deep space continues to get skewed. When examining data taken by NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, or IBEX, the modifications were found. This satellite recorded many brightening energetic neutral atoms, or ENA, which according to Space.com suggested the heliopause lacked symmetry. Now, we not only have a wrinkly outer edge, but it's also asymmetrical and changing. 
We know that both voyagers changed course once they crossed Saturn, and now we know why. It's because both probes had encountered different versions of the same outer edge of our solar system. There are theories dating back to the 1950s that predicted the magnetic fields in space would spread out, curve elegantly and come back to the Sun. But it seems that there are a lot of disarrays once they spread out. Our confusion regarding what we've always believed about the heliosphere and heliopause continues. If anything, the difference in data being relayed by Voyager 1 and 2 proves it. This month, researchers released an article on the subject in the journal Nature Astronomy. They described the heliopause modifications there as possibly problematic. To better understand these changes, they also plan to continue investigating the edge of our solar system using NASA's Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe. To learn more about interstellar space, however, scientists will have to rely on spacecraft like the Voyager probes and the data we currently have. The Eerie Hum in Deep Space If you've seen 2001 A Space Odyssey, then you might have an inkling of what travelling in deep space would sound like. We now have an audio recording released by NASA to back it up. Scientists claim that the NASA spacecraft that has travelled the farthest has captured what they refer to as humming outside of our solar system. They believe that interstellar waves are the reason behind the persistent hum that the Voyager 1 spacecraft continuously picked up. The waves were recognised by Voyager 1's detectors as vibrations in minute gas particles detected in the nearly empty interstellar space. The waves of plasma are another name for the vibrations. Over the years, the spaceship picked up the waves at various radio frequencies. The interstellar medium which Voyager 1 is through is thought by astronomers to be teeming with a variety of waves, both large and small. These waves can reveal details about the interstellar medium's density. Stella Ockler, a doctorate candidate at Cornell University in New York, was in charge of the new study. She reveals that the newly discovered plasma waves would be much too faint to be audible to the human ear. If the hum could be heard, it would appear as a single consistent note that played continuously, yet changed very slightly over time. This is the first time the density of material within deep space can be measured. It's exciting and interesting to think about how many pathways it opens up for scientists to learn about deep space. The very structure of the nearby interstellar medium can now be understood. Previously, Voyager 1 had detected waves, but they were thanks to solar flares. But these humming sounds have nothing to do with solar activity. This even hints at interstellar gas having low-level activity going on at all times. These findings can help researchers better understand how interstellar medium interacts with our system. NASA released the disturbing audio for us all to hear. Check it out. What about aliens and Voyager 2? Voyager 2 is quite far away from the Earth. For context, consider that it takes the commands sent from the Earth 13 hours to reach this probe, but information isn't always sent as clearly as it should be. It wasn't until the end of 2022 that it became apparent the explorer may have encountered an anomaly. The conspiracy theorist that came running about at this glitch immediately transformed it into a hot rumour. There was a suggestion that aliens may have been able to locate the Voyager 2 probe and reprogrammed it to interfere with the communication between it and Earth. This might have just been dismissed as junk, but according to a German specialist, this glitch can only be the result of extraterrestrial intervention. The Telegraph in the UK also came forward and made the rumours even worse by taking the word of a UFO expert without comparing it to reliable information from someone knowledgeable about space. This was obviously done to get views and sell copies. The likelihood that a UFO or aliens were involved in this operation is still pretty low, and the most plausible scenario is that something went wrong with Voyager's programming. But the alien theory is unquestionably one that may be debated for a very long time. Why? Because it involves curiosity and is something people have been searching for for a very long time. It goes beyond mere speculation. If there are aliens, they wouldn't just muck with the settings of a machine floating on their land, would they? 
or perhaps it's a warning for us to avoid them. Whatever it is, it defies logic to a significant degree, and we'd prefer not to knock on a door with a brick wall on the other side. NASA has been generous with keeping us updated. We're sure they'll tell us about aliens in due time, too. Even though four instruments on the Voyager 1 probe are still collecting data to communicate to Earth, mission personnel predict that as time goes on, the probe will deteriorate. The twin probes will eventually stop communicating, even though they will keep speeding through space for billions of years. The Voyager's journey is one to watch out for. Maybe a few years from now, they'll embark on a parallel universe. Subscribe to our channel for more space-related content.